Welcome back to the channel, guys. We finally done our table to remove the battery. Take a look. I think it turns out amazing. I really like the way we did it with all of the reinforcements and all of the components we installed. It should handle the entire car. So I'm kind of excited to give it a shot and give it a try. So now the next step, we go into uh, uh, check the battery status on this car, see which cells are damaged, and then we're gonna drop it, open it up, and fix it. Raise the table. It's almost yeah, on it. Better. Much better. Okay. This one is good as well. Yeah, this one's good. Okay. I think we're good. <laughs> I'm excited. We're almost done removing that battery. It's so simple. I actually thought it's gonna be very hard, but literally with this table, it goes so easy and so smooth. I'm like so excited, guys. I think we're like literally with more practice, 20, 15, 20 minutes since it's gonna be out. It's awesome. I mean, look at that. I'm so excited. Now, the battery is removed, guys, look at that. I am so excited. It was actually pretty simple. When I did Jaguar replacement on my, on my Jaguar, the engine replacement, it took so long, it was so much cable wires. I mean, this one thing, I think it's awesome, guys. It's, I, I don't have any words, I'm speechless. Right here's the battery, it's out. Let's push it out. It's kind of heavy, I think we need more people. This is it. It's out. A little bit more. 
I'm just curious, has it been replaced before? No, revision point one. Yeah, this is the, the blanket, the fireproof blanket. It's one of the first designs because then you can see they have rubber around the battery. Second generation injection box and charger. It's definitely been upgraded because um, they're supposed to have an older model here. Yeah, no, it's sticky because it's like uh, 1302. Oh, so I guess then, yeah, they did the upgrade then. Yeah, I completely forgot about that. Yeah, it looks so simple. We found the battery and look at this. Just two connectors. This whole two connectors, that's how you charge the battery. That's how voltage comes in. That's how it's actually taking the voltage out. And this is the battery monitor connection. That's how it's monitored and controlled. It's BMS. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. I really like simplicity of Tesla. <laughs> like literally, um, they made it super awesome from engineering perspective. Simple design, elegant, easy to work on. I'm excited. It is next day here, and we're so excited to finally pop that cover up. So now, as you can see, it is kind of dirty. You can see the dirt and some other, some sort of, I don't know, leftovers from grease. So what I really wanna do, learn it from my childhood. First, you wanna clean it. You wanna make sure it's perfectly clean, and then we can pop it up and give it a shot. So now, before we even done any of our batteries, we need to learn, right? So we got one of those a while back and we took it apart. We kind of count all of the cells, see how they made. We got the controller removed and basically reverse engineered. Something we can test, something we can learn how it's designed. And I would say, guys, I'm amazed by Tesla. They did such a great job to make it all work Actually, I'm in shock. Let's start with Wacomi. we got the battery fully open. So just wanna make sure you guys understand that the most time consuming process and that sucking all the energy is the time to remove that lead. That lead is actually sitting on pretty tough silicone. It's a, sort of like a silicone gasket which holds that top lead here as a cover and it's fully waterproofed. So you have to take time to carefully go around it with the special knives. We're not gonna show them because we actually designed them ourselves. So we don't want other people to kind of, you know, see our secrets and some other stuff. But anyways, here's the battery. It's open. Let's go and talk about it. This is P85, Performance Model S, 85 kilowatt battery. As you can see, it's 16 elements. So we have 14 here and two more installed over here inside the penthouse. All of that battery is heating up, especially when you have performance. So 
Tesla engineering made cooling a fully designed cooling system which pretty much run by antifreeze. And it's not just designed to cool it down, it also can heat it up. Now, we have a cooling system. Guess what's happening if you get in a car accident, right? There's gonna be some safety switch. And we have one. Look at this. We have the pyro fuse over here. That pyro fuse is designed to blow up and kill the battery uh, circuit if you get in a car accident. So Tesla even thought about the safety of his battery which I'm really excited about. Now, um, let's open up and see what's inside. All the batteries connected via connection over here through the wires which hitting inside this specific made connector wall, I would say. And then now all of them connected. How do they connect to the car? Right here, right on this side, we have a connection point where it connects to the car. Down here we have a conductors. Yes, safety first, we do use the gloves. These two conductors is making that little noise when you disconnect the main power supply and then you put it in back here, that click, click. That's what it is. That's actually connecting the car. So now, you've seen the battery, we're going to work on it, get it tested, every cell, and then see what's broken.